like. Gramps is at death's door. He's been there for two weeks like a bloody milk bottle. Meanwhile, I am stuck, dear, with her. So, if you could come and share our burden in this difficult time of need, thank you. Well, my eldest, Hester, went to, um, went to Cambridge, so I think that I know a little bit about them. OK, fine. I'll leave you with that. Thank you so much. Bye. Bloody cares. How much do we owe him? 8,000. Where is your sister? Your daughter won't answer her phone. Mum, have you got eight grand? Gramps has got savings. you to join us. I'm sorry. Oh, was that heavy traffic? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, it was from quite... London up the M1, 11 days, so I'd say that was pretty heavy traffic. Mum! Hester's being a bitch! Why are you dressed like Mum? Because I didn't bring enough clothes. Oh, balls! I didn't bring anything. Oh, well, let's hope he dies quickly, then. I thought you were going to sell that and pay off your credit card. Rather more poignant. Have you done something to your hair? This is nice. Are there no hotels? You got money for a hotel? Gramps took us to Skegness in this one summer. Hester got thrush. Should we go see Gramps? Oh, take him his clocks. He likes to see them. And the beans come through in the allotment. Take him some. Raw beans to eat? To show him. Oh, OK. I'll show him some beans. Are you coming? He's in charge of his own morphine, Rose. He has no idea who's there. He thinks Mum is Gram. Mm. He's been talking dirty to her. <laughs> What's he been saying? So you can put it in your filthy books? Yes, Mum, that's highly erotic. A delirious, ill old man off his face on morphine. Ask his 50-something-old daughter to get her knickers off. Fuck's sake. Hiya, Gramps. It's Rose. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little bit late. Was that your morphine? Good, good. It's funny, I keep expecting you to say, I'll get you a grandmother. You know, and I used to call and, and you'd, um... The best before date said four days ago, but I knew it would be fine. Can you pass the wine, please? Really? <laughs> yes. What? No, I mean, it's just you and the red wine. <laughs> what? No, me and red wine what? Remember when the police brought you home? He, oh, yeah, 14 years ago. I couldn't get you up the stairs with all that puppy fat. Drunk. You were so drunk. Black, sick in the road of dendrums. Oh, and that policeman, he was... He was, he was lovely, really lovely. lovely. Look, he couldn't believe that I was your mother. We were laughing. <laughs> the sofa turns into bunk beds for you kids. We're not kids, Mum. Mum, I don't know what you think bunk beds are. You're comfy down there. The nurse says that he's comfortable. I'm glad someone is. I'm just going to say goodnight to Ian. Hi, Hester. Hello, darling. Oh, please don't have phone sex. How are you? Oh, it's the long number on the back of the uh, Wi-Fi router. No, incorrect. So there are letters here as well. Yeah, letters and numbers. Gramps is. Oh, okay, thanks. Hey, okay, I, I gotta go. No, it's okay. I've got. I've got to go too. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I love you too. Well, I'll say that for Ian. Very quick at wanking on the phone. Oh, oh sorry, I've let myself down. Oh, God, all of my golf clubs. Oh. You oh. fuck off! <laughs> oh! 
Hi, it's Rose. Uh, I just got your edits through. Um, page 143. It's actually nibble, not nipple, but easy mistake to make. Although, page 201. Why would she lick his shift? All right. All right. Call me back. Bye. I have to go to the solicitor today about Dad's finances. Do you want me to come with you? No, it's all right. Hester, will you come? Sure. I presume you didn't bring any spare clothes with you? Don't have any family, only women. So I have to hide me money in the place where I go to think. I found it on an old VHS and converted it into a digital format. Wait, he's withdrawn all his savings. 20,000 pounds and hidden it. He never trusted banks or women or handicapped. Definitely able, Mum. And he hasn't said anything? He's all over the place on morphine. He thinks that I am my mother. Decades ago, obviously. Maybe Rose knows something. She's been there a lot. I can send it to you as a dot .mov file. Good visit. Epic. It's like Disney World with colostomy bags. Can you eat these? I'm eating them, but I don't know. What do you and Gramps talk about? Nothing. They're pretty fibrous, but I just think they're old. Do you talk about money? What? Inheritance? Have you sat on one of Mum's HRT patches again? Check your bum. Check your bum. They're full of hormones. Gramps had 20 grand of savings. But he's hidden it. Where? I don't know. That's how hiding works. He said where he goes to think. That's the toilet. No. The bookies. No. It's definitely not the toilet. No, I checked. <laughs> His allotment? Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. I can't believe Grabs had money. You made us share tea bags. He said anything. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Rose, come. Mum needs our help. Um. Ian Grant used to do it outdoors. And indoors. And at the zoo. And you went to Margate once. And? Came home. It was a different time. Rose. Those care home bills will ruin us. If we don't find the money. Worst family holiday ever. <laughs> We're back. Sorry. 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 I hope you weren't worried. <laughs> no, actually, it was nice to have a bit of me time. You can go out again if you want. No, all right. Any news from the hospital? Oh. I heard about the money. Bastard. Mum? No. No, for eight years I have looked after him. For eight years I have put my life on hold. I mean, I I need a job, but but I've never had a CV. You've got a CV. Even you've got a CV. I mean, what would I put on my CV? Daughter, mother, woo-woo, daughter again. I mean, I need a job. I need a life. I... I want to be part of a book club. I, I, I want to go online dating. Oh no, you really no, don't. No, it is my turn to have a life. How 
Oh, is that helping? It was her idea. I better not oh, get a call about you, girls. Oh, you're the you perfect girls. one. Would you stop sucking up? Just unclench. You are angry at her success. My Why success? did you learn from her? Don't Mom. put yourself down to make her feel better, Hester. I'm a published bloody author. Oh, filth. I have to hide the covers in wrapping paper. I have two houses. Yeah, we know. Well done. I live in one and Ian fucked his 24-year-old girlfriend in the other one. And when I was 19, I got a tattoo on my thigh. What's your tattoo? It's on a little heart, just the outline. That's nice. When I was 27, I got so drunk that I shit myself on a bus and I got some on my briefcase. Brilliant. You read my books. Of course I do. I have my needs. Oh. N masturbation is the sincerest form of flattery. <laughs> oh! Right. I'm going to burn my hands and make us all a lovely cup of tea with one tea bag each. Good job, Rose. Oh, would you shut up? things. He went to sleep and he didn't wake up. Are you okay? I am. There wasn't anything left to say to each other. Ian. Well, you can piss off. <laughs> piss off, Ian. <laughs> you pompous Tory Bella. No one no, likes okay. you and you've clearly got man hips. You can do whatever you want now, Mum. You can join that book club. Go out and meet new people. Please. I don't want any money to meet new people. You could go on the game. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'll write your CV, Mum. Everyone's CVs just lies. And book clubs are genuinely shit. Oh, Rose, did you what? break this? What? No! Oh! I'll take the paper. <laughs> Look, obviously it's the thingy. Ob it's not obviously nothing. And what's the thingy? You know, the bit Could you describe the thingy to me, please? Oh, please. Go get your sister. Oh, hi.